What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers, this is episode 2 and a couple things have happened since, well, I mean, things that you might not notice. So the reason it's daytime and last episode I said it would be a, an episode full of nighttime since it would take a full hour for the sun to rotate all the way around the planet and come back up. The reason it's daytime is because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make the video a higher quality in OBS and it took me about an hour, honestly, and I was just doing a lot of test recordings and eventually the sun kind of just went around and I thought of going reverting back to our save so that um, so that so that it would be kind of continuous where the sun would be still over there instead of rising on this side but I, I then decided that, that uh, it's probably better to start out where the sun is on our side rather than the sun being um, going down so I, I messed a lot with the quality and I really hope the quality is maybe better than last episode and not stuttery um, and if it is stuttery then hopefully I will have that fixed by episode three so let's hope that's not the case well in this episode there are a couple things we still need to do well a lot of things we still need to do because this is our starter base and all we've done is we've we've uh we've added solar panels and made a little plan for where we want things to go and that's not enough we need to actually put those things there and the main concern that i have is that if i die like i did in the uh in the first episode if I die, uh, the only place I can spawn that is close to here is inside this med bay. And the only way I can spawn inside this particular med bay is if the power is on in this ship. And that might not always be the case, seeing as we're, <laughs> we're currently destroying the ship. So what we're going to do today, well right now actually, is, uh, is we're going we're gonna to destroy this med bay and move it over there. So that if I die, I can spawn in my bay so long as there's power in the base which there will always be, assuming the sun comes up. So uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to destroy that. But first, let's make sure that we have enough. How, how many steel plates do we have, actually? Let's take a, take a gander. We have five steel plates. Let's get a couple of those before we do anything. The door. We don't need the door right now. So I'll, I'll wipe out the door. We'll take out some of these blocks right next to the door as well. It's, my voice quivered there because I was about to hiccup while talking. Isn't that weird when you're trying to do a, a nice commentary and your voice decides not to cooperate all right so let's take out our, our tool here we're just gonna get this area right here all nice and fixed up all right you know what we should also do actually is we should refill our hydrogen and we can do that if we go to the med bay and just hold f on this button right here you'll see our hydrogen meter at the bottom has filled up and our power meter as well will also fill up so that's good awesome and that's where we're going to be putting our med bay. Do we have a block down there that we can... I don't know if we have a block down here that we can fill. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. So let's grab our med bay. Uh, then we build the med bay just like you build normal blocks and such. We're going to press Control 2 to go to a different menu on the bottom. And we're going to press G to go into our stuff. We're going to find our med bay. I think it's called Medical Center. Uh, medical Room. So we're just going to grab that and throw it in slot 2. And then I want it to face... Let's see. This way? That, yeah, that looks good. Let's make it face that way just like that. We'll press this right here, and then we'll go in and start building up a little bit. And we need interior plates. That's what it's saying. Okay, so I think we do have quite a few interior plates. We could completely demolish this one before setting that one up. And that might be what we'll have to do for because I think it requires medical components. Ow, that hurt. I think you require medical components or something. Yeah, and I don't think we have any of those in our thing. So we might have to completely destroy the one behind us. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, well, let's grab all the health we can get, and let's really hope we don't die while we're doing this. Inventory full. Okay, so <laughs> we have to deposit some of the stuff here. All right, we need more interior plates, which we'll get by continuing to destroy this thing right here. So let's continue to destroy it. Inventory full again. Uh, probably all those medical components. They're quite heavy. Uh, we need more interior plates. Okay. Probably more medical components, if I had to guess, or something. What are we getting that keeps filling up our inventory? Maybe the large steel tubes. Oh, no, it's because our inventory is already almost full. Okay, so let's throw back some... What do we not need? Solar cells, we don't need them. Large steel tubes, we won't need them. Uh, bulletproof glass, really heavy. We don't need it for now. And you guys aren't very heavy, I don't think. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue destroying this. There we go. And let's just go over here and fill this one up. And now, unfortunately, well, actually, let's see. I was going to say it's not going to be operational because we don't have power to our base, but 
that might be generating enough power. Uh, I think, yeah, that's generating enough power. That's getting all the sunlight uh, from this thing, except our ship's blocking maybe a little bit of it. But, uh, but yeah, that's definitely generating enough power for us to use our med bay while we're here. Uh, so there's our medical room. Let's press F here. We can actually change our color. Personally, I like having a nice blue kind of tint to my to my space suit. There we go. Uh, saturation. I like high saturation. Kind of a, a dark, a darker blue. Maybe like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, gloves. Oh, did they actually did they actually add stuff in this game that you can get? That's kind of cool. I did not know. Whoa! Can I change my welder? No, I, I can get different skins. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know they actually had that stuff. Okay, whatever. Awesome. So if I press V, I'm that color, presumably. So, yeah, sweet. So we've set up our medical bay. That's all definitely good. But unfortunately, here's a, th here's a thing that is wrong with the medical bay, and that is that you cannot refill hydrogen or oxygen from the medical bay. So if I press J, uh, we'll slowly... Basically, what I've just done there is put on my helmet. You'll see that. Press J... Hi. Uh, so I put on my helmet so I start using oxygen, and if I press X, I can start to fly. So it'll start using hydrogen, and that'll sh I'll show you that you can't grab oxygen or hydrogen from the from the medical bay at its current state. There's still something we have to do from it. So let's we have 88 uh, hydrogen. Let's get a little bit lower on oxygen there. 98. Okay, let's try. So we can refill power, but we can't refill hydrogen and oxygen. And that, the reason for that is because the hydrogen and oxygen is not actually generated from the medical bay. It's actually generated from the oxygen, well, something something over here. It's generated from something over here that we're going to need to uh, put over there so that we can have it generate or given to the med bay so it gives to us. So that's going to be the next thing that we're going to do. And I think probably grabbing the oxygen tank is what we're going to want to do. But we're also going to need to grab something else. I, I don't know where. There's another piece to it. There's the oxygen tank, and then there's one other piece that goes to it. Oxygen generator, maybe? I think that might be it. So let's let's grab this. This is the oxygen tank. So we'll grab this one right here. And then the oxygen generator is maybe back there. Let me destroy this assembly. Oh, no. This is the assembler. Okay. All right. Let's just destroy this right here. And, yeah, I don't know where the oxygen... Oh, there it is, the O2 generator. So we're also going to need that piece right there. But first, we'll start with the oxygen tank. So where are we going to throw our oxygen tank? It's It really doesn't matter where we put it. Oh, yeah, you can see an unknown signal over there. Sweet. It really doesn't matter where we put our oxygen tank uh, because pretty much everything can be connected with conveyor belts like this right here. These are little conveyor tubes. So it doesn't matter where we stick our oxygen tank. It'll be it, It'll be fine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to throw it probably back here, kind of out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some some uh, some stuff. We're going to build that right there. And we're going to fill that in as well. And this is where we're going to put our oxygen tank right here. Okay, so oxygen tank. We're going to do the same thing. Control 2. Press G. Oxygen. Oxy. Oxygen farm. Oxygen tank. That's what we want. All right. So now we're going to want to place it. Uh, on our base. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something like that right there. And can I see from the side? Yes. So if we look over, well, <laughs> I can't see it anymore. From one of the sides, you can see how full it is. And that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So I was just making sure that you could continue to do that. So let's fill this in. And it'll start to build our little oxygen tank here. And the oxygen tank doesn't actually generate the O2. It just stores it. So once we generate the O2, it'll be routed into our oxygen tank, which will fill up as uh, as we get more oxygen. And then we'll just route it right back into there. And do we need to do this? Not really. We don't really need oxygen when we're on a planet. But it's good to have an oxygen set up just in case you've accidentally held J for too long and, you're, and you've been using your suit's oxygen instead of breathing from the outside. You don't want to start to die randomly <laughs> for doing that. Um, so next thing, I think we're going to grab the oxygen generator here. O2 slash H2 generator. I'm glad they actually changed that because they used to call it just... Oop, don't worry about that. Oh, that hurt. They used to call it just the O2 generator. And that's not what it is. It also generates H2 from from the... Uh, from the... That stuff. The ice. Okay. I thought I heard someone else's footsteps other than mine. I'm like, are the wolves here? I don't know. Where are we going to stick our O2 generator? I think we'll stick it down here, maybe. Let's carve out a little spot. So let's press C, get down. 
We'll carve out just a little spot for our O2 generator. Uh, right there. And we'll just probably stick it right in here. Um, I was right clicking, so that those shouldn't all be there, but and I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Let's just can, can I grab those? Uh let's see. Get down. No? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with those. I guess they'll disappear. Yeah, they're just particle effects. They're not actually uh, objects, which is fine. Okay, so let's grab our O2 generator, and we'll we'll do the same thing to grab it. Uh, it's called an O2 slash H2 generator. So we'll grab that, and that's not a bad spot for it. Wait, actually, you know what we want to do? Probably want to do something like this. Yeah, that's probably better. Like that. Yeah, that's probably better. I'm just thinking because we need us we need to actually be able to enter the O2 generator to add stuff to it. So we're gonna want one of these conveyor things near us so that we can enter it like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect that to that eventually. Uh, so so everything will be fine. Um we can do that now actually. Let's grab our conveyor, all of our conveyor pieces. So we'll go convey, oops, convey. Uh, we want normal size conveyors, so we'll grab a conveyor junction, we'll grab a conveyor tube, and we'll grab a conveyor, uh, conveyor, yeah, curved conveyor tube. Okay, we're going to start with a curved conveyor tube. These are really easy to build. Um, so we'll just throw it up, go up like that, then we're going to make it go sideways like that, and then that'll be fine for now. We're going to place something else over there. What do you need? You need stuff. Let's go get stuff. At first, it's really easy because anytime you need to build something, you can just go find the same thing that's on the ship and just go destroy it. And that right there, we'll get this one as well. Alrighty. Uh, why do we keep getting hurt here? I, mean, I guess that's kind of a big fall. Come on. I'm just going to go right over here and refill our HP so we don't die. And let's fill these in. So here's the conveyor tube, another conveyor tube. And what we're going to put here, instead of a conveyor curved, is we're going to be putting a normal all-way conveyor. And to make it look pretty, let's turn this so that the word conveyor is right set up. <laughs> I like to do stuff like that. And the reason we're going to do an all-way conveyor is because the oxygen generator is producing oxygen and hydrogen, but this is only an oxygen tank, so we're also going to need a hydrogen tank which is where this is going to split off into that area to go put into a hydrogen tank. So that's all well and good. Now, um, we should be good once we've connected the oxygen tank to the medical room. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's grab our six right here. Put that one right there. We'll grab our seven, which is our, our uh, one that goes down. Oops, I accidentally turned it the wrong way. There we go. And you should be good. We need more stuff. So let's go and destroy some more conveyors. Do I have any more here? Uh, you are a conveyor. Don't worry about these random objects on the ground. I will get them eventually. All right. Use our jetpack to get up here. Oops. Use our jetpack to get up here. I accidentally turned off inertial dampeners. Let's keep those on, I think. Alrighty, there we go. The conveyors have turned green, and that means that we're getting oxygen from here to there. It means it's a complete loop. It doesn't mean we're actually getting oxygen quite yet, because there's no oxygen in here. But, if we go and grab some ice, which may have despawned. I think that the ice was over here somewhere. Or do we have it in our inventory? Yeah, the ice must have despawned. Oh, that sucks, but we can go down there and grab some. And I think, hang on. We're supposed to have also some hydrogen bottles and another oxygen bottle. Did those also despawn? Because if they did, that's going to suck. Oh, that's going to suck. I think they did. Yeah, they despawned. No! <laughs> those are so helpful. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay, here's an oxygen bottle. Uh, Anything over here? Anything outside the ship? Eh? Hello? I think they may have despawned. I think some of them may have. No, that that does suck. Okay, it's fine though. It's fine. We'll we'll be good. We will still survive. Are you sure they didn't just? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone for good. Oh, did the ship even? Did they roll down the mountain? They could have rolled down the mountain. You never know. Nope. They're 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 gone. Okay. 
That's, it's, it's okay. It's all okay. Uh, I mean, we do have to go down and get ice manually, but it's fine. We'll do it. So let's go ahead and refill our stuff, and we're just going to make a real quick run for ice, because you probably noticed by now that our hydrogen on the bottom is going, is running out, which sucks, because that means we won't be able to fly. Here's what we can do, though. We can just press X, fly, and let momentum carry us while we don't fly, and then just slow ourselves down, just to get a little bit of speed there. All right, let's press 3, get out our drill, and we're just going to drill some of this stuff here. I haven't seen any wolves, so knock on wood... Hopefully they're not around here. Okay, let's grab some of this. Grab some of this ice. Mmm, ice. Grab some of that. And we're pretty much just going to go until our inventory is full. Which shouldn't take very long because this ice is really heavy. Uh, alrighty. And we're almost there. We're just going to throw it in our, in our generators. Honestly, that's probably fine. Um, yes, yeah, don't see any dogs there. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's just, uh, let's use some of our hydrogen here to fly up, and we're just gonna catch ourselves on the way down. Catch! We're good. Alright, and we're just gonna throw that into here. Throw some of that ice right there, and that should start... Should start, uh... Being used, maybe? What am I forgetting? You should technically be being used. Okay, I don't know why that's not being used right now. There's probably something that I'm overlooking, and it's probably very simple, like we don't have enough power or something like that. So I will figure it out eventually. But for now, I guess that's just not going to be <laughs> making ice. I suppose. Did they change the way it makes ice, or am I forgetting something? Put ice in the machine, and then it should. Or the way did, did they change the way it makes hydrogen slash oxygen? Uh, why are you yellow? What does that mean when you're yellow? Let me delete one of these and remake it, because maybe it. They probably changed something. If I'm, if I had to guess. All right, you're yellow still. Is the oxygen? T you probably don't have enough power. If I had to guess. All right, let's uh, let's get into the oxygen tank somehow. Um, we can probably get into it from here, and we'll go to control panel, oxygen generator. Uh, do you guys have power? Required input, oxygen tank, max required input. You're on. Okay, I don't know why that's not working, but you know what? I'm gonna take a guess right now that we don't have enough power for it all to work. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set up our power room real quick, and then hope that fixes the problem. So let's go ahead and get down and remove some of this area here because that's where we've decided that our power room is going to be. Our, uh, our reactor room. And you don't technically need a room for reactors, but I like to have a little room for it. Oops, I think I broke one of those things. Sorry. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and fill these in. So this starting with this one right here. We'll just get this front row done first. And then we'll move on to maybe this back row. And this one right here. We're going to have to place another block in between. We don't have enough steel plates. Let's go and grab some. Oh, why am I using this? I keep forgetting that we don't have enough power. We don't have enough stuff. Just going to get a little bit more of this wall. Uh, that might fall if I take that one out. Alright, just get a little bit more of this wall so we can get those nice steel plates. Okay, let's head right back over there. Oh my god, every single time, without fail, we fall right there. Alrighty, so let's, uh, oh, we're working over here. Let's get these things filled in. Get one right there. Fill that one in as well. And then we're going to go in ahead and get these side ones as well. And probably these two side ones as well. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, and then now we can probably set up... Oh, we probably want a floor. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get a floor in here. Um, boom, 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 bing, bam, bop. All right. And uh, we'll, we'll place this one right here, and then we'll go ahead and make our, uh, our reactor. 
Let's get a couple more of these things. A couple more of these side walls. We almost have enough. We just need to get a couple more. And then once once we've used up all these, by the way, we're going to have to start mining for iron so that we can make more steel plates. And that's, that's not bad. The only tough part is actually finding... That actually looks really cool when I'm over here. Oh, shoot. Meteor Storm. The only tough part is actually finding where the iron deposits are. And once you've done that, you'll be, uh, you're, you're A-OK. -okay. Oh, no. That's not good. That is bad. That is really bad. Um, one of those looks like it's going to hit that. Maybe not. Maybe they're going right above me. Actually, it does look like they're going to shoot right above me. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, my God. How much damage do these guys do? It doesn't look like they do much damage to that, but maybe they do a lot of damage to the blocks. I don't know. Let's get these side ones, by the way, because if if they break, then these back ones will also break off since they're not really connected anywhere else. But what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to fix this one up. Uh, we'll fix this one up as well. And then we're just going to place our thing, our, our reactor that we're trying to build. So let's press G, go to our reactor. Uh, we want a small reactor. And the reason we want a small reactor, by the way, is because the large reactor is uh is quite large it's this is the large reactor that's the small reactor we want a small reactor <laughs> for obvious reasons we don't have enough space for the large reactor there we go that'll fit and we're just gonna fill that one in right there and what we'll do is we'll actually destroy the one that's on the ship because we do have a reactor on board there it is uh is, that's the gyroscope where is the reactor um are you Timer block. Reactor. There's the reactor. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the uranium out, which uh, doesn't kill you, I don't think. Which is good. You have to wear a special suit. I mean, we're already wearing a space suit, which is technically a radiation suit. So, Actually, that's an interesting idea. Would would a space suit work in a, like, in a, a situation where you have to wear a radiation suit from uranium? Would that work? All right, let's throw that in there, and that should start powering everything. Are you working now? Yes, that was the problem. No. Was that the problem? Hang on. No, you're still not working. What if I take some out of some of you out and put it in? That is not working. I don't know why. I do not know why that is not working and it sucks cuz that's how we get our hydrogen. Uh What if Hear me out. What if I bypass the oxygen generator and go straight for the thing right here? Like, don't even worry about the oxygen generator because that might be causing the problem. I don't know. So let's press five right here. Get our, our standard one right here. Put that in. It sounds like it's working, doesn't it? It is working. What? Okay, well, let's grab our hydrogen. I don't know why it just started working. Maybe I had to replace that or something with a different one. Yeah, I don't know why it started working, but it's definitely working now. Look at that oxygen. It's starting to fill up, and that's good. The only problem is that in order to get hydrogen, we're going to actually have to go back and get more ice every time because uh, because it's not storing the hydrogen. It's basically just releasing the hydrogen into space because it doesn't have, any, it doesn't have a hydrogen tank. Uh, should we build a hydrogen tank right now? We could. We could definitely do that. I just don't know where we're going to put it. Here's the problem. Uh, let's use three because we've already used all the slots on two. So let's use three here and get a hydrogen tank. Here's the problem with using a hydrogen tank. They are quite large as well. And we could put it like right there or like we could find another place for it, I guess. Um, the only problem is we could throw it right there. Just a big tank. Why not? That seems fun. Just a big tank on the back. I think that'll look kind of cool. It'll look kind of like, have you ever seen Star Wars? And you know, uh, on Hoth, they had a, they had a, a, like a shield generator. That looks like one of the things for the shield generator. Unknown signal detected over there. Probably something else shoot at me if I go near it. What do we need? Steel plates, large steel tube, small steel tube, and more steel plates. Lots of steel plates. Uh, let's take out some of these landing gears. We don't need them anymore. We need one of them. So there's one landing gear, and we'll get we'll grab uh, this landing gear as well. 
All right, and uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, we need a lot of large steel tubes. A couple of small steel tubes. A lot, a lot of small steel tubes as well. You know where we can get those? We need to destroy an engine. Let's go ahead and do that. Engine. Inventory Inventory's full, okay. But did we get enough stuff? No, we didn't. All right, we're gonna go and store these on. You know what we're gonna do for the for the last stuff? I do. What I want to do in this episode is I do want to at least get some storage in here as well. That'll probably be the last thing we do. And then next episode we'll work on setting up the assembler and the refinery, which are also quite important pieces of machinery. This is probably the most important thing you can have. This setup here, um, and if not any of this, then just this because that's how you respawn in case you die. So it's very very important that you have that. And also it's important to have the cargo containers set up. But currently. We do not have any cargo containers set up on our home base. And that's okay for now, but we are going to want to get those set up at some point. Alright, so let's continue. Inventory full already. Okay. Did I get any? I didn't get any of the stuff I need. Okay, well, we'll just throw this stuff right back into our uh, cargo container and we'll go ahead and get more stuff. What we're getting is all of those, uh, all of the engines, or all the motors that these things use. How many motors do you guys still have? Oh my god. Yeah, it's going to be a couple more trips just putting motors back in here. Because these things, to build those, you require like a thousand motors or something. No! Alright, let's go throw these motors back and we'll go and grab this stuff. Hopefully before they run down the hill. Uh, we need large steel tubes. We don't need the grids. We don't need the motors. Throw the motors back. Uh, Alright. Where are our stuff? There. There. Oh, that's full. Alright, okay. And uh, we can take the steel plates. And there was something else, wasn't there? Am I missing something? Did I forget something? Let's fly up. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So this thing's almost built. It's just taking a long time to build. And it's annoying. But we'll get it eventually. Um, what else could we destroy? We could destroy that. That's a gyroscope. We don't technically need it anymore. Alright, inventory full. Let's go and put whatever we can in here. All right, this is this is so tedious. I don't remember this being this tedious trying to set that thing up. Let's throw this back. We'll throw a couple of steel plates back. We'll throw those back. Throw these back, and computers and displays. What can we destroy? There's I know there's something in here that has lots of large steel tubes and lots of small steel tubes. That's a battery. That's a timer block. And they don't have anything of what we need. Conveyor. Conveyors have small steel tubes, so let's let's just mine those. To get the small steel tubes. That's a deep oxygen depressurizer. Or an air vent, not an oxygen depressurizer. Alright, run back over. I think we got a bunch of small steel tubes that we can throw in here. Okay. And I guess we'll... Oh, we're about to run out of hydrogen. Ooh, no. Yeah, I need more ice. Dang, I didn't, I didn't think ahead. All right, well, looks like we're running back down to get more ice. This is how it goes. Uh, before you get that hydrogen tank set up, you need to actually get ice over and over. And unfortunately, we can't do that little trick. Are we, are we, I thought we were gliding. We can't do that little trick where we were uh, jetting away just because, um, just because we don't have any more hydrogen to land us if we go too far. All right, let's grab a little bit of this. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla. Alrighty, sweet. And let's go right back up to our place. Hopefully this is not too steep. Nope, doesn't look like it. How are we doing on time? 29 minutes into the recording. So we're getting about to the point where I want to end it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do the... Uh, the. No, I want to do the cargo this time. Because I definitely want to destroy that refinery and put all of its materials in the cargo thing. Just so that we don't have to... Um, so if this ship despawns like it says it will, we don't have to worry. So let's throw a little bit of ice in there. Not much. Oops. Throw a little bit more ice in there. And see if we can refill ourselves. No. Yes, we did. Sweet. Awesome. Alright. And let's... Uh, I guess we'll just... Well, what we're going to do is we're going to store the ice for now. We'll throw it in here. Uh, and then we're just going to go and destroy some of this again. Inventory full. 
But this time we're a bit closer to the cargo hold, so it's not bad. All right. Inventory full. Boop. Go in there. Uh, you can go all the way in there as well. Beep. Inventory full. Go in there. Beep. Uh, okay, inventory is technically full a little bit. We don't need you as well. Did something just explode down there? It sounded like something just exploded. Um, let's grab that. Can we grab those? Hello, can I grab you? Oh, that's interior pillars. Okay. All right. Let's go and fix this. Finally. No. We need some small steel tubes. Where do we get small steel tubes? Excuse me. I would like some small steel tubes. You don't have any. Uh, small steel tubes, anyone? You? No. Small steel tubes. Nope. Does anyone have... Do, you know what? I bet you we have some in here. Um, If we do, I'm going to feel like an idiot. No, we don't. Okay, I don't feel like an idiot. That's good. You know what? I bet we have some in our flight seat. No. Do you have any small steel tubes? Small things? Oh, there's a bulletproof class here. Small steel tubes, anyone? Nope. All right, so we are in our first deficit of items. We don't have any small steel tubes, and we don't have anywhere that we can get them. And that is not great. Wait, we already got some earlier. Where did we get them from? We got like 20. But I forget where we got them from. Was it a landing gear? No. Was it a... It wasn't an engine, was it? No, it wasn't. Was it this? Do you require... No, it wasn't. What did we get small steel tubes from? Because I swear we had a bunch of them. Like, we got them from somewhere. I don't know. Alright, well, let's have... We don't have ice. <laughs> God dang it. Let's go up here. We might have to call it an episode because we don't... We don't have any small steel tubes and I don't remember where we actually got them from last time. So... Uh, oh, it was an assembler, wasn't it? Or it was a... Uh, one of those things the conveyors and we don't have any more conveyors okay well that's fine well we can get some from here but we don't want to destroy our cargo containers so you know what we're going to call it an episode right there uh because i mean they won't disappear on me right you guys won't disappear i don't think they will i think they're going to stay with me for the episode so i think we'll be we'll be safe leaving the episode with them uh with the cargo containers here so yeah, that's the episode, and uh, if you like it, hit that like button. Suggestions on what we should do to our awesome base, please put those in the comments, in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in episode number three.